What's up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. What I'm going to be doing today is we're going to be doing some smoked salmon. I'm going to be using my master built smoker to smoke this. Uh, I got the inspiration to do this recipe from another barbecue channel by the name of Elton's Barbecue Pit. And before he had his YouTube channel, he sent me this shirt probably about two years ago. So Elton, thanks for the shirt. Anyway, what Elton did was a Norwegian recipe called Bravlox. And basically that was a salmon that cured over the course of a couple days and then you went ahead and ate it raw. What I'm going to do is use the same elements of that with a couple different twists and then we're going to throw it in the smoker instead of eating it raw. Anyway, the first thing we need to do is come up with kind of our uh, dry brine that we're going to let the salmon sit in for about 8 to 10 hours and really all that we're looking at is we're looking at uh, a ratio of salt to sugar of 55% salt, 45% sugar, and then we're going to hit it with some white pepper, you know, as much as you like. I like pepper, so we're going to kind of go heavy on it, but that's kind of an optional ingredient. Uh, so what we're going to do is get our salmon uh, kind of cured in this for about eight hours. So before we get into these ingredients, I want you to know I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to Elton's Barbecue Pit in the i card above in the description below he not only has that gravlax recipe that i thought was pretty tasty but he also has a cold smoked salmon i think you should take a look at anyway our ingredients are i have some salmon that was that's already been cut in portion there's no skin on that we have some dill uh, he used a norwegian alcohol in his what i'm using is uh, just a honey whiskey and i got an extra bottle just in case and then we have the uh, salt, sugar, and pepper mixture that I made earlier. And then a twist I'm doing on his was I'm just having some uh, lemons for this fish to sit on just to pick up a little extra flavor. Anyway, all that we're going to do is we're going to set our salmon on top of these lemon wedges. And then we're going to hit it with this salt, sugar, and pepper mixture. Now we're going to pat this off before we smoke it so there's no need to worry about it being too heavy. We're not really trying to cure this or anything. Alright, now in his recipe what he did was he went ahead and uh, added the uh, alcohol first. But I'm going to do, since we're not going to be curing as long, as I'm going to go ahead we're going to put some... Uh, dill on here very generously and I'm using the stems and all and I have a little bit of dry dill as well as fresh dill and the only reason I'm using the dry dill is because I had some uh, leftover that just needed to get out of the pantry alright so we got that on we're gonna go ahead and pour our honey whiskey on top of it And I'm not a fan of honey whiskey, so you know what? Let's go ahead and add this other bottle as well. Alright, then I'm going to make sure that everything is covered since some of it did kind of come off. And this is going to go in the refrigerator for about, like I said, 8 to 10 hours. Uh, then we're going to get it on our Masterbuilt smoker and we're going to be smoking it about 175-180 degrees and we're going to be using uh, pecan wood. Alright guys, so we have let this kind of sit in this cure for about 5 hours. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to kind of scrape off a lot of the excess uh, dill that's on there. I am going to leave some of it on there. We're going to go ahead and get this on our racks that we're going to throw in our smoker. Like I said, I want there to be a little bit of dill on here, but just not a whole lot like we had on there. And as I'm brushing that dill off, some of that salt and sugar is going to come off as well because I don't want it to be super sweet. Alright, so we're going to take that off. And I have my Masterville coming up to temp. 
I have it set at about 225 degrees just to get the smoke going and then we're going to turn it down to uh, about 175 once we get out there. So boom, we have that set. You know what I'm going to do? I wasn't thinking about I'm going to go ahead and spray this down with a little bit of cooking oil. All right. Now it should have enough seasoning. Should have enough oil on it. Let's get it out on the smoker. All right, guys, we are out here at the smoker. I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but I still have my lemon slices under these uh, pieces of salmon. I just turned the smoker down to 180 degrees. And I'm just going to throw this in the smoker on the same wire rack that I had it on when we were inside. As a matter of fact, let me turn it around so I can see it a little bit better. We're probably going to smoke this for about two hours, but I'm going to check on it in an hour and just see kind of where we're at. We've been smoking this salmon for about an hour and 15 minutes and to me it looks like and feels like uh, we're pretty good to go. So I'm going to go ahead, we're going to pull this out, take it inside, I'm going to let it sit for about 5 minutes then we'll go ahead and taste it. Alright guys, so this is a wrap. I already got rid of all that hippie shrubbery that was all over this fish. Time to dig in and see what is up. All right, so, first of all, if you saw that picture, nice presentation, but you got the smoke coming in, and it's not a heavy smoke, but you got that smoke, you got the lemon that's kind of coming up from the bottom, that dill definitely coming through, then you have that, that honey whiskey coming through. And uh, what I meant earlier by saying that, you know, I really don't like it. I was going to drink one of those bottles and I realized I'm not into all that hippie whiskey. So I decided to use all of it on here. But you have that kind of coming through. You have the consistency. It's kind of, It's not a real firm smoked salmon like you would get like if you were to smoke it for like five, six hours on low. This is kind of between that salmon and a regular cooked salmon. So you have the smoke flavor, but it's not that super kind of almost uh, dry kind of a flavor. This is the winner, I'm going to tell you. Anyway, Ellen, Ellen's Barbecue Pit, thanks for giving me the idea. Basically used his same recipe, just didn't cure it as long. I'm telling you, try this out. If nothing else, do the smoked salmon the way you do it or the way you like it or find another recipe, but add that, like add some kind of a honey, uh, bourbon or, or uh, whiskey to it. It is the bomb. Anyway, please run by Elton at Elton's Barbecue Pit. Link's in the description. He's out of Norway trying to get a little traction in this YouTube game, and trust me, He's been uh, a supporter of mine for a long time. Anyway, thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.